Hello and welcome to another tutorial on using CS3. Today we're going to cover a little bit about editing. So I'm just going to, I've opened up a new project and I'll just drag in this piece of video here. Okay, drag that down to your main sequence window and you can check it straight there. Let me just mute this, it's already muted, that's good. So, in this video I have a dead section at the end where nothing much really happens. I want to cut that out. How do I do this? Head down to the bottom right, grab the little razor blade tool. You've got a selection tool, a move tool, a zoom tool, pen tool, lots of handy tools. But the razor tool is the main one you use. You click and you'll make a little cut. Then you can just select the video and either move it up to another track where you're not going to see it anymore or delete it entirely. And you can do this for multiple pieces of video, multiple tracks, and to make life easier, if you leave a gap between the two, right click, you can do a ripple delete. And I'll show you that quickly. Uh, move this piece of video over to the right, right click, ripple delete, and it'll move the videos together for you. That's the basics of cutting a video for however you need it. Now, how to add titles. Click Control and D, and give it a random title. We'll call this one Start. Okay, this brings up your title window. You have your video in the middle, title properties on the right, and fonts on the bottom. Just click anywhere in the main window and type in whatever it is you want. Change the fonts, change size and locations. You have alignment buttons down the bottom here, as well as a few basic drawing tools for anything else you need. You also have these options up here which allow for rolling, crawling credits from left to right, up or down. As soon as you've done that, close. And then you drag them in from the project window top left. As soon as you've done that, you go back over to your video, hit play. Oh, video tracks invisible. And then you've got the title on top of the video. So, you've edited your entire video and got it just how you want it. Then you need to save it, so you go File and Save. This saves the project, but not the actual video. What you want to do is go File, Export, Movie, saves the film as a raw video so it's not encoded, so it'll be a very large size. You want Adobe Media Encoder. This changes on CS4 over to an external encoder but the settings are basically the same. We have the input video and the output video. Uh, for this video here I'm using H.264 codec with video settings of 1280 wide by 720 high. That's 720i for anyone who's in the new generation of HD tellies. Uh, bit, rate of, bit rate of 3, bit rate encoding CBR and audio is another area you can cut down video. The lower you have these settings, the worse the quality will be. But it's all right up to a point. Once you pass a certain point, the video and audio quality will be absolutely terrible and you'll get a lot of digital noise. So, for the audio, we're using the AAC codec, stereo channels, 32 kilohertz frequency, audio quality high, and a bit rate of 64. You can drop that further if you want to. For the video, we're using frames per second to 30, field order none, widescreen 16x9 profile, main level 3.2, bitrate CBR with a bitrate of 3. And you just click OK and a place to save it. The video will then start to encode, which will use up all of your processor's processing time and slow your computer down. Depending on the length of the video, this can take anywhere from 5 minutes to about an hour it's about an hour per hundred megabytes and that is the basics of editing and encoding with CS3 and Adobe Premiere okay have fun with that